I'll be building the best past and present Man City team in FC24. But remember, this is my opinion, simply my opinion. I know a lot of people are not going to agree with my team. Trust me, when I show you the first player, you already going to be mad at me. See, lads, today I'm building the best past and present Man City team and going to try to win games in FC24. And Kevin De Bruyne doesn't make the starting 11. Let me talk. Let me, let me, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Now, I know you're freaking out like, whoa, there's no way, Skills. And I know. But listen, the only reason he doesn't make the starting 11 right now is because I have certain cards in FC24 that are better than him. Not better than him, IRL. IRL, Kevin De Bruyne might be the best Man City player of all time, bro. Like, this guy's amazing, bro. The things he's done for Man City are amazing. But the truth is I have players better in FC24. Like, let me explain. When I show you the first midfield that's going into the starting 11, instantly you'll be like, oh, I get it. 95 rated Rodri. Like, like 95 rated card to a 91 rated card you're gonna take that card every single time like that's just facts like Rodri is amazing now is Rodri better than Kevin De Bruyne in real life no no football knowledge I listen I know a little bit of football knowledge okay no way is he better okay he's not better let's get that fact let's get that out the way but the card in FC 24 is better so in the video game he's better and then the next midfielder the reason I had to put him bro like if I didn't put him I think a lot of Man City fans would be a little bit, not upset with me, but they would be like, yo, I feel like he needs to be in it. And I agree. Yaya Torre. Now, he's only an 88-rated card, and realistically, I could put him on the bench for Kevin De Bruyne, and a lot of people would be happy about that. And I might just do that. We'll see how it goes. But right now, Yaya Torre and Rodri are my midfield, baby. And it's kind of nice. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. It's not bad. Now, the weakest card in this entire starting 11 is going to be a gold card. Now, I want to let you know something. I, when I say the weakest, I mean in the game. Again, not in not in real life. In real life, this is one of the best right backs, I mean, to ever do it. Let's just let's just be let's just give it facts, bro. Like a lot of people don't want to admit it, but the things that Walker's been able to achieve in his career are beautiful. This is a fantastic player, a fantastic card, just a fantastic footballer, man. So Walker is a stud. He does it for England consistently, plays for them. He does it uh, 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 for Man City. He is a big, big, import, uh, important part of what Guardiola has built at City. So big ups to him. He's in the starting 11. Now, the left back is where a lot of people are going to go. Now, nah, skills, you done lost your mind because realistically, this guy only played 22 games for them. So realistically, he probably shouldn't be in the starting 11, but I started looking and I just didn't really know what to do. Like, I think I know what I could do, but I'm not sure if y'all would like it. Does that make sense? Anyways, I came up with this. Beasley, the American man. Now, most people are gonna be like, damn, he played there? He did, he played only 22 games though. So I don't know if you really count it, but Beasley did play there, lads. He, like I said, he played there for 22 games, bro. So he was there, he was there, he counts. But he doesn't really count. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to go with him in the team. I don't know who else I would really put. I guess we could look at it when we're done building. But let's keep going. In goal, my Benfica man. I had to have him, lads. I had to, man. One of the dopest Brazilian players to ever do it. Won the Champions League with them. First ever Champions League for Man City. Comes from my Benfica goalkeeper. My Benfica legend, Big Ederson. Yo, he's, Benfica made him huge, man. And, 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 and he did so much for Benfica. And I'm so happy where he's at in his career. Big ups to my my boy Ederson, man. He is part of the past and present Man City team. And if there's ever someone that deserves it, it's him. What a player. War a player. War a war a war a player for me, man. I love this guy so much, man. Um, we're going to move on to another Befica legend. Big Ruben Diaz. Hey. Love him, man. Big Ruben Diaz, man. Came from the Benfica Academy, bro. One of the most legendary Benfica players. This guy is freaking awesome, man. I love this guy. He's amazing. He's everything that Benfica stands for, this guy stands for, bro. Like that, he is awesome. I absolutely love this guy. Now, you see my manager? Well, you're going to see him twice because there is no way that I don't put together a beautiful Man City team without the one and only big company. Yes, indeedy. Don't be greedy. Company into the starting 11, baby. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of loans. I want you to know that. I, you ain't got to go out and buy everybody in this game. You can rock loans. It's not like that's not the whole point. The whole point is to have a little bit of fun with a past and present team. But let's talk about this man for a minute, man. He played 360 games for uh for the for the big man city scored 20 goals as a center back i loved him i loved watching him play growing up it was him and um was it les scott was that his name les scott the dude that had the scar i think his name was les scott i think that's what it was man i'm, I'm pretty sure that's what his name was but 
absolute stud, played 360. By the way, how many did my boy Yaya play for them? Yaya Tori. Oh, it doesn't say. This card doesn't say how many he played. Someone in the comments down below, let me know how much, how many games Yaya Tore played for them. But Yaya left because him and Guardiola bumped heads. That's when he, he left there and went somewhere else. Um, went to Barca, right? Is that how it worked? I think he went to Barca. Um, but yeah, Yaya Torre was there for a minute, man, until they bumped heads and and uh yeah, it kind of ended in, 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 in a weird way with, with Yaya Torre and, 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 and uh, Guardiola. Uh, but this is the starting 11, and there's only three past players. And again, it's one of those things that, for me, I think Man City, I don't know how you guys feel. These present players like Ruben Diaz, Eder Militao, I mean, uh, Ederson, Walker, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne, these guys did something that no one's ever done for this club, man. They went and won a Champions League. It's something that they chased for many, 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 many years. Um, in modern football and they weren't able to get it and now they got it and another guy that was a big part of them going to get that another guy that went out there and laid it all on the line especially in the in the semifinals and the final was the one and only big boy Bernardo Silva another Benfica legend another Benfica hero and I love this guy man this guy talked about one day coming back to Benfica to retire he loves Benfica man I, I love him I love watching him play he's just a sick player um, and he's going to be in this starting 11. And again, he was a big part of Man City's first ever Champions League. So I thought he had to be a part of the team. And the more I look at the team, I know Kevin De Bruyne should start. I really wish I had his team of the year card because he does have a team of the year card, lads. Um, maybe I should go buy it to make it right because he deserves to be in it. But maybe, maybe we'll talk about it. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll put all three in. And I'll explain in a minute. Um, I decided to go with a new player. I don't know if he should really be in a past and present, but he's 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 the future, right? He's the future, lads. And I I felt personally like I had to have the future, you know? I, I don't know. I felt like he had to be in it. So I went out and picked up Doku. Now, this card cost me a lot of bread, like a lot, bro. I ended up paying 1.7 million coins. He's a five-star skill. He's a four-star weak foot. He's born in 2002, the same year as me. I'm just kidding. I'm not a future star. I'm a future star on the way to the retirement home. 5-2. Uh, um, I've already played four games with him. I really enjoy him. But yeah, end of the day, Doku's a sick player. And I thought, you know what, man? He's the future, right? He's the future of, of City. So I, I, I need him. I need him. I need him in the team. So a little bit of past, present, and the future going on here, if, if I'm honest with y'all, man. Um, then the strikers. This is where it gets interesting. I got the one and only big boy, Holland. Of course, you got to have team of the year, Holland, right? Holland is a massive part of Man City winning their first Champions League. He was the missing piece. Guardiola goes out and get him. The first year of getting him, they win the Champions League. Um, and they just go crazy. They win everything they can win, pretty much. And, and, and Holland was a massive part of that, right? So the player that's missing in this team is the one and only Aguero. I mean, that's facts. Everybody knows it. But Aguero does not have a card in FC 24. So I thought of what's the next next best thing. If you can't have Aguero, what's the next best thing that played for Man City? And I started looking through cards and kind of looking and this and that. And I thought to myself, Tevez, right? It's Tevez. It's got to be Tevez because Tevez played for Man City um, for 148 games. And yes, he played for United. So he played for both. But he played more for Man City, and man, did he score more goals. 73 goals in 148 games for Man City. So this is the team that I came up with. Now, the problem is, and I guess it's not really a problem, this is why I can't fit Kevin De Bruyne in. Now, I can easily 100% drop Torres, I mean, uh, uh, Tevez, and we can go 4-3-3, 4-3-3. Um, and, and I could bring in Kevin De Bruyne. But I I came up with this. And I, I came up with this because I like this formation, the 4-1-3-2. And that would mean Rodri and Yaya Tour right here. Bernardo Silva on a wing with Doku. And then Holland and Tevez up top. And I thought to myself, this looks like the best variation of, of City for me. It's just incredible. I, I, I love everything about this. So I think this is the team I'm going to go with. Otherwise, I got to play Kevin De Bruyne on the wing, and I just don't really feel like that's a good idea. So, lads, let me know how I did in the comments down below. We got to jump into some gameplay right now and see how good this team is. But before we do that, get in the comments down below. Let me know who you would drop. Let me know who you would bring in. Remember, there's no Aguero in the game. There's a lot of le other City legends missing, but they might not be in the game. And if you like the team, let me know. And if you think I did poorly, let me know. Tell me what you would change. But 
The challenge is to win some games. So let's go play. You know what I just thought about? I could be using Jerome Cancelo at left back over Beasley. Maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe I should have went with Jerome Cancelo. Man, because Jerome Cancelo is a stud. I, I maybe should change that. You know what? We might change it after this game. Now, like I said, I do got to be honest. I think we built an awesome starting 11. Outside of Beasley putting in Juwon Cancelo, I think this team is fire, bro. I think it's a great team. But maybe that's just on paper. Maybe they're going to be stinky in the game. My boy Walker made a mistake, but company bails us out. We take that. Doku chilling on it. I make Tevez give me a little bit of a run, but he loses it right away. Let's go, Yaya. Good, 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 D. Big Yaya doing everything right, baby. Swinging that one to Tevez. Then dropping it off to Holland. Holland brings it down, shoots, and it passes Donnarumma. And who else? The big number nine. He's wearing 10, though. Big Holland slides it into the back of the net. I mean, if we were going to score a goal, who else was it going to be? Let's be honest. Of course it was going to be Big Holland. This team is actually flowing pretty nicely. Can I get this to Holland? So close. It's flowing pretty good. I feel like I'm playing against Barcelona right now. My opponent will not let me have the ball. He is trying to keep it away from us. I think he's scared of our deadly attack. Look at Holland, baby. Here we go again. I'm going to hit the ball roll. Give it off to Tevez. Tevez shoots, misses. Doku shoots. Goal! The future Doku! Big hit. Tevez should have scored. Holland wasn't greedy. He fed the needy, but Tevez missed it. It fell right to Doku, and we slide it into the back of the net, and we are up 2-0 very early. Company bringing us forward. I slide this ball. What a pass from Company, by the way. Right to that man, Holland, and I messed up. I should have went to Tevez. I should have ball rolled. I should have shot it. I should have done anything but what I did. Okay, Tevez. What a turn. He's going up against Lucio. Tevez still on it. I want to try to go to Holland. I do Holland here. Yes. Big Holland with the big head. It's in there. Two. Come on, big boy. Yes, lads. Big Holland makes it 3-0. Tevez gets the assist. And we should get the easy finish. Are we backing out? Are we rage? Nah, he's staying. He is not hitting the rage quit. He is staying. And Holland's going to have a field day, baby. Yaya goes straight to Holland. Keepers out. I drop him. Holland shoots. Hat trick hero! Hat trick hero! Holland! 4 0. Easy game, man. Easy with a team this good. The city boys are going crazy. Let's go, Doku. Where are we going with this one, big dog? Doku still on it. To Holland. To Yaya. It's no! Ref! What are we doing? It's we scored! Ref, that's crazy. Hey, Holland scored a fourth. He backed out. We get the rage quit. We get the easy win. But, lads, I'm kind of upset because Holland scored another, man. Anyways, we're going to win this one 4-0. Should have been 5-0. Definitely should have been a goal for Holland. But regardless, a dub is a dub. Now it's about EA giving us the win. And, well, things are not. Oh, yay. We get the win. Come on. So, the team we're going to get matched up in game two is a nice team and he's working his evo card so we'll see how this game goes carlito tevez nice find to yaya yaya down to my boy doku doku ball rolls doku to yaya yaya to my boy bernardo silva and he could not finish we should be winning one nil for sure bernardo tevez goal tevez boom knock it out the park baby Hit that golf move for my boy Tevez, man. What a play. What a shot. What a player. 1-0 for the legend, Tevez. If Holland and Bernardo Silva could link up nice here, we could have a massive chance. Bernardo Silva, back to Ho Oh, that was for Holland. Tevez dancing. Tevez, Tevez, Tevez turning it on this game. Bang, get it out of here. Tevez is going crazy, lads. Big Tevez not playing games. War a finish from the Argentinian striker, and it is 2-0 very quickly. Doku, I could have Tevez just running free here. Let me give it to my boy Tevez. Tevez, two defenders around him. John Anariza and Cafu, that was hard to do, to get through. Doku, Tevez, Holland, finish it in there. 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, Holland! Come on! War a play, man. We are cooking. Bernardo. Oh, yeah, Holland. 
Oh, yeah, Holland. One more, baby. One more. Nice ball roll, Holland. I went for the Travella, Holland. He's staying with Tevez. Oh, almost a hat trick for Big Tevez, man. We are playing a crazy game. Ruben Diaz back there. Can't get it to him. I wanted to, though. Not like Tevez. Cook him, Tevez. No. Wow. Get it, get it, get it. Holland. Holland. Doku. Doku. Finish, 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 finish. Doku. Come on, Belgium. Man. The Belgium. Man. Come on. Let's go, lads. Big hit. It's in there again. What's that? Five nil, four nil. We are cooking. Walker. Nice pass. Tevez. Nice. Tevez. A Tevez to Holland. Five zero. Bang. Woo. Nah, this is incredible. I could have Tevez one on one here. Tevez still with it. Big Tevez. I drop it off to Holland. He shoots. It's in. Wow. Six nil. Goodness gracious, Holland is going crazy, bro. This is wild. What a game. Yo, is he backing out? This could be a back out, you know. He's out of here. What a win. City team going crazy. Now I got to be straight up honest with y'all. I play a lot of FC. A lot of FC. And I've done a lot of past and presents like y'all know. But this attack right here won't be my, won't be, might be one of the best attacks I've ever built. Tevez and Holland together are crazy, bro. And then you got Doku cooking it up on the wing. Bernardo Silva on the wing is not that great. But from the midfield up, this is one of the best passing presents I've ever played with. Defensively, not so much very good. But still all right, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Not a bad team. Beasley, obviously, I could have went Joan Cancelo. And I realized that. You know what I'm saying? A little bit uh, a little bit too late. But the truth is, I think the reason I didn't go Joao Cancelo was for chemistry purposes. Uh, if you're new to FC24, you probably don't know, but chemistry is a thing. And what happens with chemistry is you want all three little blocks so you can get the best stats out of your players. As you guys can see with Bernardo, with, with Joao Cancelo, it's only one. Now, if I would have went Portuguese, maybe I could have got it to work out, but that's why I ended up going with Beasley because he got the full chemistry. So, anyways, lads, tell me how you think I did in the comments down below, man. This team was so fun to play with. Let me know what team is next for the past and present. Warra team, Warra City, absolutely fun to play with. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Make sure to let me know what you want to do next. I will talk to y'all next time. Peace. We're out of here.